Hi, my name is Tayana Bowie, and I am an artist and a professor, and I'm the um, section chair of printmaking here at College for Creative Studies. I make, for the most part, printmaking, but uh, con conceptually I'm making work that deals with um, narrative, personal narrative, family. If my work was a genre, I would say reality TV. <laughs> Actually, um, it started in undergrad when I went to, uh, I was at Western Illinois University, and I had a really great college professor, Susan Chakowsky, who was a great mentor, but before I met her, I was doing metal smithing, graphic design, you name it, and I was introduced to the process of screen printing, fell in love with it, still, I've been doing it, I mean, since I started, which was 2005, so consecutively ever since. <laughs> I do have a really favorite memory of knowing I wanted to be an artist, or that I was one, and I was six years old, and I was in kindergarten. We have to draw this picture of a boat and an island, and I remember doing that. And of course, my memory uh, is, tells me that it was a very joyous occasion to the point where everybody cheered for me because they thought I did such a good job, and the teacher was actually, I do remember her energy. She was very, she was impressed, and almost like she just knew I was gonna be an artist. I think one of the best things about working with with students or being a teacher is that just kind of get that like full circle moment of giving back. So thinking about all the people in my life that helped me out and made me the artist that I am today, I get to do the same exact thing and I think it's just about paying it forward. I sometimes think the best things to do is to think about other people, especially when life gets tough for me. I'm like, well, it could be worse. Let me go and spend time uh, gifting someone else with this knowledge and then watching them do great things with it is such a beautiful reward, and I think that's what keeps me coming back to teaching. There are many things that inspire my art. Number one is other people who, I remember being in undergrad and grad school, and my colleagues were just like the main people that we, that we all looked up to each other. Then of course, uh, you know, famous artists, ones we know, maybe more underground, but of course certain eras and genres, like Harlem Renaissance era, every artist, poets, uh, I also am intrigued by music, I think fashion, and pop culture. Some things are just always like, oh, I like the, that color palette, or I like the way that artist thinks and talks. That also influences uh, my work. I think that the pandemic and also um, the murder of George Floyd has completely reshaped my entire trajectory as an artist. I didn't know that would happen, but one of the things is that um, I've gotten a little bit more into social justice and thinking about ways to help other organizations other artists and giving everybody a platform if, if I can and, and being the, the change that I want to see, right? And not assuming that because I am a black woman, I, I have it all figured out. I'm still learning. I think we all are. And the latest work that I've uh, been doing have been actually a little humorous. I went from a maybe more serious tone, thinking about family and all these things, but still thinking about family and growing up in the foster care system, which also shapes my work and thinking about all the pop culture, you know, things that me and my siblings would watch growing up and fusing those things together and having commentary on politics and uh, identity. So all of those things are going into the work now, more than ever. There are many things about uh, screen printing and printmaking that draws me to it. I think the number one thing is uh, the labor. <laughs> so I'm drawn to the fact that I have to do a lot and in order to get to this one thing. Some people find that could be very annoying, but I found it to be very rewarding and also having to utilize layers. And I think that's life. Life is complicated, it's layered. In fact, I tell students that I'm like, there's something about this process is all about problem solving. And if you can master printmaking, you can master life, is how I look at it. <laughs> yeah, I think people that are uh, interested in printmaking, you don't have to go the academic route. You could also YouTube it. There's a lot more opportunities and things. Also going to like the local art museum and seeing what courses they have and what classes and workshops. So if you're like, I like this thing, I just don't know how to do it. There are so many different avenues to get you involved without it having to like break the bank. So, but also just talking to other printmakers in the community. There's usually always a community print shop, hopefully. And I'm always grateful when cities have one. I know we have one in Detroit and those places become the, they become the thing that I think just adds to the academic conversation of printmaking. The DIA actually is such an amazing, beautiful uh, museum. It's very gorgeous. I remember, because I'm from Chicago and Milwaukee, I was actually on the ad hoc board to help bring the 30 Americans exhibition to Milwaukee. So when I moved to Detroit, as soon as I got here, 30 Americans exhibition was here. And I was like, 
how amazing I got to see it in two different spaces and see how two different institutions work with it and also bring in the community. So I think those are my, one of my favorite moments. And of course, every piece of art in the 30 Americans exhibition is a like, game changer and really was um, still inspiring me to this day.